Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another video. We hope you've been enjoying all the wonderful panels that we've been posting up here from Midsummer Screams Awakening the Spirits. I know I had a good time. Tony had a good time. I did. But that's but that's not what we're here to talk about. Today, we are here to talk about the new maze announcement from our boys at Not Scary Farm. And Man, you know, sure haven't we been waiting for this one for quite some time, right, Sammy? Ooh, we have been waiting. We have, we have been waiting. We have been hypothesizing. Yeah. We have been discussing. We we have been, We've been waiting for this maze since the start of the pandemic when we first got a tease that they were building something new over there. Yeah, we've we've been trying to watch anyone's footage of someone coming around on the train. Yeah. Uh we've been we have been waiting and boy We finally got it. Got it. And it yep. was wasn't what what were your thoughts on the video? Tony? I I absolutely was in love with the video. I I cannot wait to experience this maze. You know, with knots, it, it's always a great time. They they do great work with original mazes that stick around for a couple of years, and this maze has a lot of potential for changing scenes. Uh, it's based overall, it's like a freak show type maze, so it's yeah. gonna fit right in with Carnival. Um, but overall, I I think this maze is gonna be a great maze, a great addition, and I'm hoping it it expands the origin storyline to get to where we want to get, where the 50th anniversary rolls around. So I'm excited, man. I cannot wait. What about you, man? Bro, I I, I was absolutely in love. Probably, I mean, I had watched it this morning because we're filming this the day it came out, but obviously <laughs> we've had we've been pumping out a lot of content. Yeah. So. Um, this video is obviously coming out a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but I've watched it this morning. I watched it again early in the afternoon, and then I watched it like three more times the night before we got to film in. Yeah. Um, just because I wanted to look at every detail, get my ideas flowing, uh, and get back to the drawing board on what are we doing. Right. Because um, I mean, obviously, if if you've been following um, along with people posting content of like of the build going. We've seen the circus cat. Um, yes. Um, and for those of you who may not who may have not seen it, this is going where Shadowlands in. Yes. Uh, or was previously. In the accelerator area. It, yeah, the accelerator queue. Um, so we, we know where it's going. Um, and we had no idea. We had no idea. So um, it, the, the name of the maze is Mesmer Sideshow of the Mind. Nice. Um, so, so right off the bat right there, my theories, just kind of thinking about that name, Shadow of the Mind, uh, you know, in the trailer, we see this it's guy. It's a drink. sideshow. Sideshow of the mind. That sideshow of the mind. Sideshow if it mind. was Shadow of the Mind, that'd be even lit. Too. Sideshow of the mind. Shadow of the mind is dope. But still, just thinking of that name, Sideshow of the Mind, um, is it going to be a, uh, what is it, a psychological horror type maze with dealing with a lot of what your perspective is on reality and what's not reality? Yeah, definitely. Um, and I know that in here, one of the things that they, they do mention and we do see is this bridging of the living and the dead. Yeah. Um, in this whole monologue that the guy, the character Phineas, who's um, who's the the dude who poisons the old guy. I don't I don't know the old guy's name. I know the young <laughs> not guy's a, not, name. <laughs> not relevant. Not relevant. We we care about Phineas. Yeah, Phineas, Phineas is, is the, the man, one, dude. <laughs> Phineas is the one who done goofed and made this happen. Um, and so he said, you know, this is the bridge of the mind. Um, and as we see um, in the clips that are probably showing throughout this, um, there's like these like, jumps of like uh, faces that are looking like half dead and half alive. Right. Um, and so my my first thought when I'm seeing this is uh, a sideshow. Typically, that's something you see like a circuit. It's kind of like a quote unquote freak show. Right. Um, and so like I'm thinking we're going to like my first thoughts is we're probably going to see like um, these like characters that you would normally see in what a quote quote unquote sideshow freak show, um, something you would see at like Coney Island or something like that, um, and so that's what I, I first saw. And another thing I saw was um, as you see in the clips is that green elixir. Oh which, yeah, the, the thing he poisoned him with, right? Yeah, which he poisons the whiskey with. Yeah, um, and I think both Tony and I were on the same page with this, um, with that green elixir because it reminds me. Of and Tony of something that's coming somewhere else. Tell us a little bit more, Tony. The Goring 20s uh, featured something similar. I don't know if it was titled the same, but it was a similar uh, color uh, liquid. Um, now, I don't know what the time frame. Did they Did they ever say what the year was for this maze, or do we not know the time or anything? No, we, we don't know the time. It, it doesn't really give us a time, but like if I'm going based upon the costuming and the when you would typically see a sideshow... I, I'm thinking Barnum and Bailey, so I'm thinking late 1800s, early 1900s. 
Okay, so That's probably early, where it's taking place. Early 1900s would make more sense for this theory. So, uh, yeah. you know, in the Goring 20s, when we saw that, we saw this green liquid being poured around the uh, the bootleggers bar, as I like to call them. Um, but they were pouring this liquid, and they all got poisoned. Um, now we never we didn't see quite to the extent as what we saw in the maze. Uh, announcement video where when he drank the liquid instead of getting poisoned uh he got like possessed or something which yeah. which which was what would it look like to me but in the goring 20s we see everyone kind of die after they drink this liquid um but maybe we'll get an ex uh an ex explanation to that when we actually see the scare zone maybe a lot of the people we did see die came back as like a monster or like possessed or something um, yeah. which gets me theorizing, do these two obviously take place in the same time zone? Is it like the same time period? Is this the Goring 20s? Like this is one side of Calico that you're seeing and then maybe you're seeing something else happen uh, like this is a traveling circus and this is the same thing. Does this at all tie into Sarah Marshall? Obviously we know that they're trying to expand this uh, origin storyline park-wide. It started obviously with Ghost Town, with the hanging and origins itself, and um, we're starting to see more of a park-wide tie-in, uh, a story to, to kind of fill everything in. So are we going to see these two eventually make it to the origin storyline? Are we going to get hints in the next couple of years leading up to the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm? Tons of questions to be asked. Hopefully a lot of answers we'll, we'll find out when we walk through these zones and mazes. But I, I, I have a ton of questions, and it, it's good when, a, when an event does that because it makes you think, it makes you excited to find out hopefully the answers. Yeah. And even theorize a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, and, and um, you know, two things I, I think I'm looking forward to, and I, I'm hoping to see here, um, is first, um, just going back to 2019 in the park um, with Waxworks, we hit solid bees um, because that's how the guy who was doing the wax thing was using bees and honey to to make his uh, creations. Right. Um, and and in the video, we also see the mention of like snakes um, and using the for the poison for the elixir so i'm kind of hoping we get to go through a room with like snakes because like i know that people are terrified of snakes right um and so i think that would be a really good like scare with the snakes not to mention um, that's usually a common act at a, at a freak show too with the involving snakes and whatnot yeah so. and, the, and the second thing um is we see the old dude start to fly right. uh or levitate more exactly he doesn't just like <laughs> go around the room he just levitates yeah. Um, but I'm kind of hoping we'll get to see that because I know that I think if I'm recalling right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, Tony, is I think we did see some rigging towards the back of um, this build. In the maze construction update, right? Yeah, in the maze yeah. construction. I, I think we did see something of a rig, and it, and it's not nothing uh, that's uncommon to not scary for him. Obviously, if you guys went through Origins last year, they did a similar effect where Sarah Marshall's flying around in a room, and she's obviously on this rig, but it looked really cool when you see her flying around. They can easily do something similar where he's in a, either in a circle or he gets lifted up uh, when you walk through the scene. Yeah. Um, I, I really like it when a haunt, specifically Knots, does this effect. It really brings the uh, scene or the maze alive, um, and, and it just makes it a little bit more uh, interactive and fun for me. So Yeah, and it's something you don't see a lot of. You don't see that much freaking. Right. Um, I know in Shadowlands, they were using a lot of the bungee. Yeah. Um, whether that was the bungee whether, where she's running at you or the bungee like, like towards the end with the samurais when they're coming down on you. Right. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping we get to see something similar yeah. since we know they have that capability. And obviously we've seen it there in the little clip yes. of him, you know, levitating. So I hope we do that. Uh, and I'm curious on where this tying in, like Tony mentioned. Um, is it going to Boardwalk Streets because that's the closest zone to it? Is that where it ties? Mm -hmm. Is it tying over to the Goring 20s? Does it fit into the Sarah Marshall timeline? Or does it just not do have any of that effect? Or is this a, is this a one off? Like, you know, yeah. how, you know, you see in comic books where doesn't tie into any storyline it's just a one-off yeah. story so yeah and then just uh you know closing up shop here um is that the, the word mesmer was something i i was curious about right i was like is that a name is that like what what is this and what did uh, your research lead you to yeah and where did it take you <laughs> um so i mesmer i i think it's uh one thing is obviously the, the word that comes to mind is mesmerized right um, and then I did a little bit more research. Apparently, there's a some dude, some Aust uh, Austrian dude, um, whose name, whose last name was Mesmer, um, and that's where they might be getting it off of because he was into like hypnosis, and it seems like 
Um, with the clip we're seeing is uh, Phineas was using some form of control and hip- hypnosis to to do some stuff there. Some would say maybe even voodoo. Ooh. I, I mean, I would be sick if it was voodoo. Yeah. But um, I know they've done that before. Yeah. I know some other th- people are thinking like uh, – the Houdini maze they did, that black magic maze. Ooh, that was a good one. Um, so I mean there's there's just a lot. I mean, and um I mean we can probably spend hours picking through that clip, trying to find it's a video idea. Maybe we can do a little uh clip breakdown of what we see, you know. I mean who yeah. knows? Maybe we will. Maybe we will. I don't know. We got a lot on the plate. We got a lot on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh as of today, August seventeenth. Uh, we are a month away from Scary Farm. Can you believe it? I, you know what? It, it's 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 unreal, especially after an a, amazing weekend at Awaken the Spirits when we saw so many haunts, so many companies uh, announce a lot of things for haunts, a lot of new things coming. Um, it, it's it's surreal. It's bittersweet. Uh, you know, we we if it wasn't for the home haunts last year, we wouldn't have any haunt season whatsoever. Yeah. And, and obviously for Sammy in Arizona, he had Fear Farm, so he got to get his fix a little bit too. Um, but I'm excited, man. It's just it's gonna be good to go back to the theme parks. I will be honest, and this goes for both Horror Nights and um, Knots. I was a little disappointed about ticketing options this year, and and you know with Knots not announcing the annual pass. However, looking at the positives to things too, I got to uh, kind of look at it and kind of reevaluate my situation. And I'm actually kind of stoked that uh, Knots didn't release the season pass, only because. You know, us as being uh, SoCal Haunt reviewers and and kind of uh, give you a bunch of content regards to SoCal Haunts gives us uh, the opportunity to go to different SoCal Haunts that we've never been to uh, and check out uh, things that we've always been told, like, hey, go check this out. This is cool and stuff. So um, I'm trying to get as lot. Uh, the plan is to get all the major haunts out of the way in the beginning of the season. That way, towards the end of the season, we can start hitting a lot of the home haunts because we do owe it to them for saving Halloween last year, and we still want to continue to support them. Uh, as well as you guys, go check out to a lot of these home haunts. There was great panels at Awaken the Spirits. You'll be seeing videos of that soon. If not, it's already up already. So check that out. Yeah, awesome. Well, we want to hear your theories. So don't hesitate to drop a comment below and let us know what you think about Mesmer Sideshow of the Mind. Or DM us if it's a long, like, if you have a long theory, we'd love to read it. Yeah. So Yeah, or if you want to just go back and forth and bounce ideas off each other, once again, yeah. shoot us a DM. Yeah. And most of, you're probably gonna get Tony, but if you may, uh, you, you know what though, Sammy, you've you've been responding a lot lately because you know I am busy at work and and you yeah. you do a good job responding, so it might yeah. be Sammy too. You never know. It'll be a fun game. Who will you game. get to respond? Who will you get? Like, and that's always the fun thing. Who do you? How do you know it's who it is? Most of the time, you know how I talk, but sometimes Sammy talks not like me, but does it in a manner how I would say it too. So you never know. Never know. But yes, go ahead and like that video. If you have not subscribed already, what are you doing? We got a lot it's of content button. coming out, man. A lot of yeah. in the next few weeks, especially. We have yeah. tons of stuff planned. So Yes, of course, of course. And uh don't also forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time we post a video. Yes. Um but uh, so but if you do want to hit us up in the DMs, I did forget to mention this. Hit us up at Twitter at Knights of Horror and at Instagram at the Knights of Horror. Yes. Um, and we're, we'll be happy to interact with you all. Um, but we hope you all had fun. We'll see you all in the next video. See you guys soon. Peace. You're moving into a